everybody. Well, if you've been watching Celebrity Wine Review TV with me, Charity Winters, you know that Celebrity Wine Review is all about wine and often very beautiful ladies. So today we are providing you wine and very hunky men. <laughs> this is Fabio, you recognize him probably. From season five of Top Chef, he was the hands down fan favorite and now is in season eight of Top Chef All Stars. Yeah, it's actually it's on TV right now. On TV right now, so you can As catch that. This is Jacobo Fellaini and Jacobo is the sommelier Perfect. and mixologist yes, here sir. at your restaurant where Correct. we are hanging out in North Hollywood, Correct. Firenze Osteria. So we are at nice. his restaurant. It is getting rave reviews up here in, in North Hollywood. How long has the restaurant been open? The restaurant has been open for a little over a year. Yeah. And and uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's our second restaurant, and uh, it's a great addition to our first location in Moorpark. So you have to but tell us a little bit about what you do here um, as a sommelier and mixologist at Cafe Ferenzi. My, or Ferenzi my mission is easy, I make people happy. I oh. just give a lot of drink away, I just select good wine, and uh, I'm in charge of the martini list, because that's what I've been doing since uh, we know each other, because me and Fabio, we come from the same um, culinary school back in right. Florence. Exactly. Our roots, we come from the same roots. Right. We come from the same tradition, from the same principle about food and about wine. That's great. I love it. So let's get into that aspect of things. Yes. You and Jacopo wrote, have written your own cookbook. Oh, and the book, again, is very simple. He pairs every drink with a martini. Then the food that we do, it's basic food, it's back to basic. Five ingredients, grocery store item. Good morning, I'm Fabio Viviani, you're watching Celebrity Wine Review. But what wine review would it be without some good food right here? So today, we're gonna pair two very nice white wine with a simple seafood dish. So the ingredient for the dish of today, clam, shrimps, fresh mussel, and some calamari tentacle. We have salt and pepper, cherry tomato, basil, garlic, and some olive oil. Now. The first things I gotta do, I gotta chop the garlic. Little olive oil. You don't need a lot of olive oil because you don't wanna overwhelm the flavor of the seafood. Seafood has different cooking time. So the first things that we add is our shellfish. The shell will prevent the actual inside from overcooking. Things that will not happen with calamari and shrimps. Salt and pepper, it's very important. It's good. Salt, kosher salt, I like kosher salt. Cherry tomato and basil is perfect, is the perfect herbs for the wine that I'm going to use today. Couple of leaves is plenty. Linguini, this is linguini number 12, is the sides I like, but you can do any pasta you want. You can do fettuccine, fresh egg noodle. You can do penne, you can even do a risotto with seafood. I'm gonna throw this in the water and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so time to have a good glass of wine. So as, as he said, uh, we, we are really focused on comfort food and on high quality products. Today, we are tasting a Prosecco mm -hmm. that is from uh, north of Italy, it's actually from Veneto. Everybody. From the region of Valdo Biadene. And uh, you should taste it because it has a very, very distinctive flavor. It has a beautiful perlage. That's the, that's the way how we, we a explain it. for the people like me that they have no idea. What, it's the little bubble. The little bubble. The little yeah. bubble. The little bubble yeah. inside. Yeah, we like to make things simple. Okay, so on Celebrity Wine Review, gentlemen, we always ask our guests to propose the toast. So, Fabio, to I'll have you propose a, our first I'll start from my heart. Okay. To a beautiful host. This toast go to you today. Salute. 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 Grazie. So we began with the Prosecco, which is an Italian tradition, and now we're moving on to the Pinot Grigio. Jacopo? Here we go. We have this uh, amazing Santa Margherita Pinot Grigio. It has a beautiful story that is, um, for sure, as Fabio was saying before, this is uh, considered the most poor grape in the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, Anthony Terlato is actually the person that decided to uh, bring it to the United States around 30 years ago, actually it's exactly 30 years well, ago, in 2010. He, uh, he went to Trentino Alto Adige, this is in the, north, uh, the northeast side of, uh, of Italy, and uh, selected in this restaurant more than 30 Pinot Grigios. 
and uh, I guess uh, he knows what he's doing. Because uh, 30 years after, Absolutely. 30 years Did after, we're here. Of course. So two great friends and great wine and great food uh, in five minutes. <laughs> You're here, great food. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. According to my grandpa, seafood, it has to be the glaze with white wine. All you need is about two fingers of wine, which is about a cup of wine, and then you deglaze only the shell. Just like this. I will not buy a $200 bottle of wine to cook with it. But it's also true that regardless if it's the wine is a good or a bad one, you're still going to drink it somehow, even if you toss it inside there. So I will never cook it with the wine that I won't drink. My shellfish are about to get open. I'm tossing my tentacle and my shrimps inside. You see that all these are opening? See how that? They're opening, they're slightly opening. That's about the time that you wanna toss your calamari and your shrimps in it, because when these are gonna be fully open, this is gonna be cooked, and it's time to toss the pasta. You cannot do overcooked pasta in an Italian restaurant. The, the pasta is still al dente. When it's still, you can see the rawness in the middle. That's the right time to get your pasta out of the water in the sauce. Finish to cook the pasta in the sauce. That's good. A little extra olive oil. A few more leaves of basil. Now our pasta is ready. This is a nice big portion. Look at this and tell me if this is not a Cirque de Soleil in a plate. I know you're there on your couch, on your desk watching TV, watching the show and you're thinking, look at that. I'm wondering what it tastes like. Look at this. Oh God, this is perfect. Seafood linguine, fresh seafood. Now I'm gonna go there, bring this to Charity and Jacopo and see what they gonna do with wine to impress me after I've done this for them. Follow me. Okay, so tell us about this simple Italian food dish that you prepared. Well, we, you know, drinking a white wine today, I decided to go with a very earthy, if you can pass this one because it's not earthy, it's right. seafood, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's a very traditional um, comfort Italian food, which is pasta and seafood. Pretty much I uh, saute some clam, calamari, shrimps, and mussel with a little white wine. And again, please, when you cook with wine, make sure that you use a wine that you're comfortable drinking as well. You know, you don't want to use bad wine for food. Okay. Food does not so go... So it does make a difference because I've had actual fans ask me that. Can't well, you use the cheap, like, $2 bottle wines? In ask your friend. I, I've seen some very, uh, very fair. I'm not going to talk bad about any kind of wine. But what I'm telling you, ask your girlfriend if she would ever drink uh, the cheap $2 glass of wine. If she would, then she can cook with it. Okay, okay. <laughs> if she... Life is too short for the bad wine. So, you can quote that. Mm -hmm. Now, the flavor of the wine and food, they have to enhance each other rather than challenge it. Mm -hmm. So that's why also you gotta be careful when you do the dish to add the certain spice and certain herbs that will facilitate the wine pairing process. Okay, so what is a certain spice? So in this case, a little white wine does mm -hmm. it because, you know, it reminds, recall what you will drink later on and plus, you know, the, the basil. Chili flakes, the basil. Little chili flakes, oh, chili a flakes. little basil. A little spicy Italian. A little, you know, a little spice in life is good. Not too much. Moderation is the resolution for 2011. It's but I am. <laughs> Wise beyond my ears. I, you know it's what? I'm ready to eat, but I, I refuse to dine alone. So come Done. on, load up. Hey, load up load let's load up. up right here. Load up. Done. Do it. Dive in. Done. Join me. Wine is done all and about done. sharing together, coming together and enjoying food and atmosphere together. So here we cheers, are together. Cheers to that. Cheers Salute. to being together, great food and wine. And cheers I hope everybody. that I will convince you with my dish. If I don't, I hope I hope that I will confuse the you wine. with my wine. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, Charity Winters for Celebrity Wine Review. And I'm here with Jacobo Bellene and Fabio Viviani of Top Chef. And we would love for you to check out Fabio and Jacopo's newest cookbook called Cafe Forense. And you can find it on Amazon.com. Yes, absolutely. Is that right? 
Yeah, it's, it, you said it perfectly. Okay, then enough said. Moore Park downtown in Ventura. Okay. And uh, there is uh, some cell phone going off. <laughs> it's uh, hard to focus when there is a good looking wow. woman eating spaghetti a feet away from you. Okay. To a beautiful host. Oh, thank you. Because we may be too hunk, but she's she's good too. <laughs> so. Mm. That's sexy. That's oh sex. God, that is Super sexy. Sex. For glass of wine that goes in the seafood, a glass of wine goes in you. So if that's a little too much. It's like a cold. Oh my god, um, I need a drink. <laughs> now all you have to do is hoping that your fire works. In this case it's not. Next one. See that's what happened on live TV. Sometimes things don't work and it's okay because we're chef. We figure the things out. The recipe in the book that we did today. Mm. Great yeah. segue, Fabio. Would it happen to be this book? Do you always sit in restaurants when booking your lap? I wish this was smelly vision, because the smell that I now I, I I smell right here. I mean, just by some, by by here how you, how your English sound is. Pretty, pretty oh, clear. oh, I'm sorry, because as you can hear, he does English lesson in his free time off. So law, that is a lot of stuff. Remember, it's a, it's a family yes. show. It's a family <laughs> show, it's, it has to be. Then, then there is no story. <laughs> you, you were just cheating, cheating for yourself. Cheating. You were like, that's taking not it to cheating. the next level. That's, that's getting organized. Right. And this is perfect because uh, it pairs perfectly with the seafood and what it grows together and goes together. And uh, our seafood pasta is. The wine is getting drunk. Enjoy some Italian food and some great Italian wine today, everybody. Viva Italia! Amore, do you want to do this again? Because you have spaghetti up your sleeve. <laughs> Make it, to, it make it very romantic. To the fan. You want to do it to the fan? To the fans of Celebrity Wine Review watching right now. So make it good because they're watching when you're writing.